this is the last video I'm filming for tonight and I am so excited because this has been a lot. I filmed four main channel videos, three story times, and this is my third beauty video and I am ready to be done. I just want to sit down and finish watching my podcast and just be done for the night. So here we are. Um, This is five of the best cheap colorful palettes that you can use. Um, I was going to include another one, but I can't find it, and to be honest, it wasn't one of my favorites. It's It was okay. It was good for what it was. It was the NYX palette that has all those bright shades in it. That's like this, that, this big, you know? I can't remember what it's called. I mean, it's okay. I don't use it, personally. I did when I started getting into color, because it gives you just enough color to have color. I don't really care for it, though. I was going to include it for the beginners, but we'll just move on so we have five i'm gonna start off with the first one that i had on my little um stack here there i have a lot of colorful palettes a lot of them are color pop but i'm including the ones that i think are good for beginners or just you could get a lot of use out of them and the one that i'm starting with is the juvius masquerade mini i know this has been talked about a lot especially by nikki tutorials they are pretty cheap honestly like they're not that expensive i think this one was maybe i can't remember how much this one was i got it at a discount though because i used a coupon code or maybe it was a sale i never actually pay full price for any of their palettes because there's always some sort of sale um but these are the colors so you also have your browns and your neutrals so it's not just all color i will swatch some i'll swatch this one here their shimmers are gorgeous. I love Juvia's shadows. They're so creamy. They pack a punch. I just love it so much. They were one of the first brands I started using color with. So, And then I'll do the purple. Because so I ran out of fingers. The swatches don't look that great because my fingers are just like at a weird angle. But we have the green one, the darker blue, the lighter blue, and the purple. Yes. So, I swatched these here, and then that purple. Um, neutrals are neutral, so I'm not going to swatch them. But they are so metallic, so foiled, they're absolutely gorgeous. I think it's definitely worth the money, especially if you're just wanting a little bit of color and you want to keep some neutral in your look. I'm sorry, I was trying to look for a towel to wipe my hands off of. Um, but I definitely like them. Sorry, I'm also trying to wipe my hand. Um, but that is the Juvia's Masquerade Mini. This one is the Elf Mad for Matte Jewel Pop Eyeshadow Palette. And this is more of a jewel tone color. Um, so they're more muted. Or they're more, they're more jewel tone. They're not as bright. So if you want to play with color but you don't want it to be like neon or just very bright, I would go with this one. This has amazing quality. I Elf shadows are hit or miss for me, but their matte for matte palettes have been proven to be really good. So I'm going to swatch some for you. I'm going to swatch that orange. It's more dry than the Juvia's formula, but it still blends very nicely. I'm going to swatch this one right here. It does take some more building up than it sh than another palette would. This purple. And, that, and that's all I'm going to do because I don't want to stain my hand that bad. There's definitely color to it. There's definitely pigment to it. So you can't go wrong with it. Like, it's a really good. You have a black here. You have some crease shades. You can even use this orange in the crease if you wanted to. There's a brown to deepen it up. There's a pale bone shade. And then you have your jewels. Like, it's a really good color, color palette. Um, and then these are the swatches. Like I said, you do you would have to build it up, um, and it is a drier formula, but it's still good. It still packs a punch, and it's only like ten dollars, I think. I can't remember what I spent on it. I got it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure it was ten dollars, and I got it because of Jay Kissa here on YouTube was talking about it. So, I think that's a pretty good deal. And next up is Profusion, and it's the Spectrum palette. I'm sorry, it's dirty, but it's a rainbow. Sorry, I'm looking at my dog. She keeps moving. Um, I like it. 
my favorites are definitely these pinker shades they have so much pigment to them they're so good um but it's basically a, a rainbow then there's like this random brown red shade um but it's basically a rainbow palette like and i think it was like seven or eight dollars i'm gonna swatch this pink because i love that this pink i know i use a lot of pink in my looks um we'll swatch this yellow it's like a, a the yellow that's in the rainbow you can't tell it's not coming off on camera but that's the shade that it is and then we're going to do that green so it's more powdery than dry but they do blend very nicely I don't know why the, it's not coming off on camera the way it is but look at that pink look at that pigment it is it's bright pink it's I don't know how to describe it it's not like a berry pink um it's got like a little bit of red in it but it's like a bright pinky color and then you have that basic basic that basic yellow shade that's in the rainbow and then just that basic spring green that's how I would describe it when I think of when I look at the screen I think of spring so yeah and it's really good if you're wanting like an all color palette that's matte they're all matte um just to incorporate sometimes then this is really good and it's the spectrum palette by um profusion I'm just gonna wipe off my hands while I awkwardly sit here let me try this yes I'm pouring water on my hand ignore me um but yeah I would honestly suggest any of them the Juvius I will say it's it's probably the most pigmented out of all the ones I've shown you so far so keep that in mind this next one is the Colourpop through my eyes palette these next two are Colourpop I got this one because it's it's just it's, it's good it's the palette that they did with I love Sarah E I got the PR collection. I bought the PR collection. Let me say that. It was not sent to me. They don't know who I am. Oh my god. I bought this entire palette because I was mostly in love with these greens. And they're beautiful, let me tell you. But oh my god, the shimmer up here. It looks like orange. It just looks like fire on the eyes. I'm Of course, I'm going to swatch that one. What do you mean? Um... It's just so beautiful. I'm also going to swatch that um, shimmer green shade. I think Colourpop has some of the best formulas. I'm going to swatch. Let me show you. It's this pinky shade right there. Of course, I'm going to swatch the pink. Um, it's like more like a corally pink when you swatch it, but look at it isn't it's so pretty um like i said i think colourpop has some of the best eyeshadow formula out there i will say that shimmer though is has a, like a lot of fallout with it um i wish this lighting wasn't as bad as it was but i think you can't go wrong with their palettes and there's also a lot of shades in here you can work with um like right there here that little mauvey pink shade down there and there's color in here but it's not like as bright as it looks on camera like they're bright but they're not as bright you know what i'm saying so it's like definitely a good palette for like beginners i would say so this one was really good i think it was like 18 dollars not bad um i would definitely suggest it and the last one is my favorite color pop palette of all time and you know me you know what shades i wear on my eyes this is one of their monochromatic palettes and it's their purple palette. The It's My Pleasure palette. Oh my god. There's a lot of crumblies. <laughs> when I used this last, there was a lot of crumblies, but. The shimmers in here just take my heart. Oh my god. Mr. Sandman down here, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to have to swatch this on somewhere else. This hand is getting dirty. I'll swatch it on my other hand. Oh my god, I have to put my hand down. What the hell? It's more of like an eyeshadow topper, but when you put it on your eye and you, and you wet it, oh my god. 
And then the bare minimum will do. These swatches suck because I'm not like trying to get too much on my finger. Like I hate having makeup on my hands. We will swatch do or do. Give. Thank you. Okay. So this one is do or do. Bare minimum and then Mr. Sandman. I don't know if you can tell. Um, Mr. Sandman is like a very iridescent purpley pink shade. Um, it's so pretty. Like I said, it's more like a topper. It just, it just looks ethereal. I don't know how to describe it. And these next two are just like so shimmery. I love them so much. Hopefully you can tell. Um, but this one was like only like $12 I think is how much their 9 pm palettes are. But look at that up and close. So if you are a lover of purple, um, I would suggest their monochromatic palettes. I have their peach palette one and their blue one. That's all I have for now. I want to get some more of them, but I just, I never do. So I would say that the ColourPop monochrom monochromatic palettes in general are just great to start with. Um, and they're only nine pans. They're never, they always look really bright and they usually are pretty bright, but some of them aren't as intense as you think they're going to be. So that's great too. Um, but those are the five palettes that I recommend um, that are cheap and affordable. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I had fun digging around and pulling some of them out. Um, let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next video.